All right, we got a Mediterranean map. First time I play this in ladder. I'm thinking this game I'll try Goth or Portuguese, guys. Goth or Portuguese. I'm thinking Portuguese and maybe try to make it late game and go for Fatoria. But Goth, full YOLO Dark Age could be fun. It's like you guys are like 50 50. There's no. Okay, now it's mostly Portuguese. So I'm gonna go Portuguese. Let's go. Let's see who we got. Survival, what? We got survivalist Pedro Blanc. Pedro Blanco. Playing as the Portuguese. Good luck. Why is everyone doing mirror? I don't know. Maybe he picked Portuguese himself, you never know. Maybe they're scared of being out -sipped. So they want to rather have an even, even playing field. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna boom and then go Vitoria. Fast in Vitoria. Oh, yes, yes, yes. My strategy has been sorted. Fast in Vitoria, boys. That's the way. How much did a Fitora cost again? Where is it even on? There it is. 250 gold, 250 stone. And... Takes 20 population. I think this will be a masterpiece, guys. I will enjoy this a lot. I'm not going to use auto scouting. I need... If I'm going to pull this off, I need to control my own scout. Yes, this will be good, 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 I think. Rank should be random sieve. I 100% disagree. I think rank should be free pick. Actually, it depends. The latter had merit. Which it doesn't really. Uh, I think having free pick is the best. But considering the circumstances right now where ladder doesn't mean much, maybe random sieve would be better. But I, I like, in theory, that people can pick their sieves because then they can be able, to, then they're potentially able to play their best possible game, right? Which should be a good thing. But as ladder isn't really competitive because of so many ways of manipulating it and using it in ways it shouldn't be used, and yeah, I don't know. Good. I've not played golf yet, uh, no. We will get to that, don't you worry. Did Mediterranean have extra sheep? I think it does, right? Or is that Baltic? Either Baltic or Mediterranean used to have extra sheep. Right now, I can't remember which. Uh, this is an Age of Empires 1 scout. Uh, it's the anniversary uh, update. So you have the possibility to use the anniversary skins. This is how the scout looked back in the day, the age one. Let's be cheeky and do a second dock. On this side. So we can try and hide some fish, because I'm pretty sure he will go fast fuel age and do... Try and get, obviously, compete for the fish. If we can make two dogs and hide our fish a little bit. That could be pretty nice. 
Don't know exactly what they're supposed to mean with the globe si globe symbol next to the names. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Opinion patch. I think every patch so far that they have ever released has been a positive, uh, positive thing. Oh, that's not the best stuff. For him. It's been positive for the game. <laughs> There's not been a single patch where I thought that oh, this is bad. Of course, the one patch where they implemented some bugs wasn't great or ideal, but <clears throat> it happened. But they tried to correct that immediately. And that's all we can ask for. So our sneaky dog is gonna come there. I will not add more fishing ship here. I will add fishing ship here now. I think the auto scouting again, it doesn't affect players at a certain level. It's only for super casuals that just want to chill and enjoy the game. Uh, I don't think auto scouting is a bad thing for anyone here. It's just a feature that will some casuals will use and people that are looking to get better and want to maximize their scout efficiency so to say they won't use it so i don't think it has a negative everyone is complaining about auto scouting because oh it makes the game so easy etc blah 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 i think it's just it doesn't affect you in any way ever why do you care it's my opinion so i don't see the point of complaining about that this is a difficult uh. Place the mining camp correctly. So I don't have loom right now. That's actually scary. Let's do loom. My everything I have here is some hills. I don't like it. The one there. There. There's a what? Why would he open barracks stable? Okay. That was not part of the plan, tell you that much. And he's gonna scout my dock probably as well. Actually, yeah, he's probably gonna run by my second dock too. So that's unfortunate. Um, a noob trap, I can see why. This is weird approach, in my opinion, to this map. This all our fish is alive still. Found this as well. Yeah, I should make some fires then as well, just to try and snipe some fish. Still want to go fast imp, Victoria. But it might be a little bit difficult. Considering that he opened land. We just wall this off. 
Simplify things a little bit. Still have fish here though, which is nice. Cannot complain about that. What? Yeah, he's microing well. He is microing well. So six. Alright. We'll survive. Don't know. Is it open anywhere now? Is it actually open on the bottom? Nah, can't be. We still have fish. But the whole fast imp idea probably is not gonna be ideal here. I'm thinking it's more likely that we go VTCs and then cast him. Or maybe just a castle drop into a little bit later fast Imperial Age. Yeah, let's do it like that. We'll drop a town center or two. And then we'll uh, transition to him from there. With not producing non stop villagers, we'll probably stop at some point. It's like make 55 villagers and then we'll go to him. Maybe I should have made a cast there. Check the hill. Would maybe make sense. The thing is, I don't need like if I make more than like 50, 60 vills, then I will have too much population anyway. Considering I want Victoria, right? I guess it makes sense to stop at a certain amount of villages anyway. What's my strategy for this game? My strategy for this game is to go to Imperial Age and make Fatoria. And then dominate. Hopefully. The tours are worth 10 mils now. No, they're still, they take 20 population, but they have changed how many resources, resources they, uh, like, generate. So that's kind of what we're checking out a little bit here, in one way. I should collect the relics. So I'll make... Let's stop at 50 villagers. Then we'll... Uh, go to Imp. Like, villagers are better still. I'm sure. That you'd rather have 20 villagers than Fatoria. 
but it's still it's like producing twice as much food as it used to and and small boosts on the other resources as well all right i'm gonna stop making those now night Probably make two, three Oring guns to defend against knights. And we need stone and gold for Fatoria. That's good as well. Let's do wheelbarrow. Again, I'll still try to collect the relics. Crossbows? What is that? Badaboom. Not too shabby these Oring guns, huh? Not too shabby. They're low HP, but it should be fine. C4 the relics, that's good. Did I kill the last one? Nope. And up we go. Now, now, question is, do I even make more bills from this point? Oh, no. Actually, the food is going to be a little bit of a surplus, I think. So I think we can make a few more bills. Actually, let's get handcart first. What? Did I not have a second monk? Did he kill my monk? Did it die to the water or something? I don't even know. I feel like I'm missing a monk. Now I know what was missing. Just passing. I don't really know what army I should make. Should I just camp on all my resources and make bomber towers, ballista bomber cannons, and bomber towers? Potential for a lot of potential fun things to do. But I'm not, sh not sure how to approach it yet. So there are extra sheep on Mediterranean confirmed. <gasps> cheeky, cheeky. Do I have a hotkey for Fitoria? Age. I'm housed already. <laughs> Shit. Let's go, baby. What? <laughs> IT activated that. Why is MBL still singing Wooloo? Oh, I need to restart the game, probably. Makes sense. 
Okay, let's go. Can I build them even though I don't have population space? Need to build more houses. Okay, I cannot. Okay, you can build them once you have one pop space. But more than that, no. Third one pop and uh, uh, minutes and I'm already popped out the beast. Man, look at the food count go up, though. I feel like I'm Khmer, guys. Damn, look at that food count go up. Man, I'm really starting to think maybe one TC ap approaches with Portuguese, like fast imp on arena with two, three Praetoria. Be sick. Stone goes up slow, but besides that, I feel like I'm full Khmer here, man. I'm going full Khmer. Might have to lead villagers. I think farmers I'm gonna get completely rid of. They're just not worth it. I'm like Khmer in every possible way here. You have the relics. What am I doing? Why am I making more? What should I make now? Seven Fetora at the moment. I think we can do better. Looks pretty sick though. Look at those resources go up. Hello. Bomber tower. Oh, champions. We have. Oh, we're gonna have five relics. Guns. I should probably start building things. The population is too much. I'm gonna make this the longest game ever. I'm gonna just camp on my Fatoria and never die. Try. Or die trying, rather. Something like that. Oh shit, I don't have population for units. <laughs> I need some population for uh, bomber cannons here. Hello. I have 28 villagers. Probably need all of them to actually work building bomber towers. By the looks of it. Oh, shit! Yeah. The timing of that was not nice. Okay. 
I need bomber towers to defend my Victoria here. Actually. Okay, here we can play. This is fine. <laughs> I, don't, I ain't got villagers for you to raid, sir. Nothing for you to see here. I'm gonna need a uh, motor holes. Yeah. There it is. Didn't see that for a second there. Well, fine. Take them. Be my guest. I got resources for days. So actually what I want to mine would be stone. I don't see any stone here. Do one bomber tower there as well. Sell the mark, use the market before he can use it. Hmm. We gotta make our way there. I guess I could be worried about ships, but then again, I will have, in theory, hopefully, I will have enough bomber cannons to deal with that. I need to make my own docks. Maybe do some. Uh, do some. Uh, what? Are they called cannon gallons myself or caravels whatnot? I have my five relics there actually, that's they're not safe. Maybe I should move them back here. Well shit. What what happened to my ballistics, dudes? Give me my ballistics. Oh shit. Doesn't look great right now. Yes, I got mixed in some beautiful orange guns. Not something I normally would complain about. Wood income feels a bit slow, I must admit. Food income seems good. Wood income still feels like it's not good, good enough. It's not wood enough. Yeah, I gotta be careful that I don't run out of villagers. That is true. Make up a few more. Oh shit. Didn't think about that. He wants to grab my relics. Can I not make a second monk? I have three monks actually. Well, shit! I'm not sure if this is gonna work out. It's using my strategy against me. Okay, we got one of them. Victoria. Did I lose my village? No, I still have a villager there. 
Yeah, the main concern I have right now is wood income actually. Shoot! Not like this. There's not a monk there. Why are you acting like this? What's going on here? No, 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 no. No. I don't have villagers to build anything there. Uh, I feel like wood income is too bad. Let's buy some wood. So we still have four relics. Well, it could be worse, I guess. Don't lose another one, I think. Need to add some wood villagers, actually. I might, yeah, I'll let this Fatoria go. I'm not gonna remake that one, because I need villagers and wood. Wood seems to be the biggest issue. So we're gonna stop with, is this seven Fatoria? Yeah, seven Fatoria. So 140 pop is in Fatoria. So maybe we can control water with like water and bomber tower, like cannon galleons, bomber towers, and all that stuff. Oh wait, did he put the relic there? No. That would be very surprising if it did, to be fair. Let's make... That should be good. Just gotta get some. Oh, that's bad actually. Okay, that's, that works, that works. That's fine, that's fine. There go there. Does this one have ballistics as well? Oh, it does! Sick! I actually never played with cannon cannons from water. That's pretty neat. Yeah, wood again, just constant issue with wood. Wood. Yeah, something like that should be good. We have caravels as well. I just need a ton of bombard towers next to the shore to control that. See where this goes. Seventeen on wood. Six more bills, then we're good. Ooh, cheeky. He's going for champions? I should, I'm gonna make one champion as well. To get that uh, thingy. Bad, uh, can't think. Boom. Oh. The Legionnaire. What? No. That's a no. <gasps> That's good. Wait, Caravels will also dominate land units coming in, right? Except Rams. What's this? Not that. I think we got that. Good. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sick. Alright, we're actually pop mag pop cap now. <clears throat> I mean he's gonna get every extra resource on the map pretty much. So we're gonna control the shoreline shorelines like there's no tomorrow. Okay. Why am I doing that? Don't think I will be able to take any more stone on the map. Not even sure if there is much more stone. Oh no. Carvels, I have a task for you. Might lose all my beautiful cannons. I mean, this could be an issue, but I took out all the rams so far. There's trebuchets as well. Mm. Let's take out those. Oh, the cannon, we've cleaned everything, actually. Actually, gold is my issue right now. Do I need to switch villagers to gold? I have to switch some villagers to gold. Wait, I could have... Okay, 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 so... New plan. I'm gonna keep like three cannon galleons there. To help out with... The water. And then... Three on that side. To keep pushing. Need more villagers though. Let's bring these guys forward. Sell the stone. Are you mad? I need that stone. Oh. Stop dodging, man. Okay. Don't like that we're losing villagers. But still kind of doing it. There goes the ramps. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Let's make a sea workshop there. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to move villagers to gold. So these guys will help out on water, they have, they have ballistics as well. I just need some more of those. What are you guys doing? What? <sighs> Still have plenty of of <laughs> plenty of stone to keep making. He was gonna try something there. But I have four cannon bomber cannons prepared here as well. Let's get rid of the monk. See, do you know how much these guys are helping on water? They do so much damage to the ships. What? Trebuchet. Let's do my... Let's do my cannot reach... Treb. With my bombard ships. Oh, he lives. Yeah, cannot. That's fine. I have score lead. <laughs> Fetora is the way, boys. How does Fetora seem so far? Uh, it seems to actually give decent amount of food. 
But besides food, I'm not so sure. But I, I'm actually thinking maybe adding one Fatoria could be worth it. Depends a lot on the map as well. I think in a lot of scenarios, maybe Fatoria would be worth it just for keeping things. To, should I make some more bills? Why are you guys taking farms? What's wrong with you? Farms is the last thing we need. But wood and gold, not so fast. Stone, obviously, slow as it should be. I mean, if we come to the choke, we have bomber cannons on both sides. Seven bomber cannons helping out in the water fight. Which should be good. Maybe this isn't that good after all. I take it back. It was not the best idea I've ever had in my life. And probably not stacking up like that either. Alright, I've had better fights in my life. Get ship's tech. Dry dock. Fine. Add some more docks. This guy's a micro nerd. Chugging me from there. To reinforce this. Um. That's fine. Though they are not send you to get the trip. I think I need more bomb cannons there. And I I mean what I'm missing here actually is okay, I have I need towers on this side as well. That's obvious actually. Here we took the trap. Alright, alright, alright. What else can we do here? Yoki okay, is going full water now. So the biggest thing here now is to not stack my units too much because there is galleons, uh, caravels for everyone. Just gotta get the bomb bird at uh, the ram. That's it. Gotta keep remember, I wanna make champions. And this is the best strategy ever. <laughs> we have figured out the Mediterranean meta already, good boys. This is the meta, confirmed. <laughs> um. I think the best thing he can do here, really, is probably to... Uh, Build up, like, ignore water. Build up, like, 15 bomber cannons. And, like, bomber cannons is what he's missing here. If he has bomber cannons, he can deal with this. That's what he's missing here. I don't need these guys there anymore. So let's bring them back. If he has bomber cannons, then he can deal with this. I still like the way this is playing out. Oh yeah, the champion too. If he's 1600, it's still like on Wubli, this translates to what, 1900 probably on Wubli? 1900? So. Oh. So. He still knows how to micro and all this stuff. Not a bad player, but. It's fine.
We're starting to add bomber cannons, I don't like that. I could go and steal my relic back. Is he target firing? I feel like he's target firing, which I shouldn't really have to do here. He's target firing, isn't he? Firing, isn't he? That's what it looks like. Let's continue the creep. Champion, champion. Okay, what's the story here on water? I think we have full water control now. And we can start pushing from here as well. Some bomber cannons. We just need to make sure all our towers are next to the shore so we can defend them. The thing is, no matter what he wants to push us with here, like I said, the only thing he can do is pretty much range units. If he comes with ramps and champions, I just stay with cannon galleons, bomber cannons under my bomber towers. Oops, that's something I cannot attack probably. And I will always be able to destroy his units. Split. 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 That sent the wrong units. I think their job is done here now, kind of, on water. Cannon galleons. He doesn't have docks anymore. He don't have docks no more. Um, aligned Medusa. I'm not sure if you get like one one percent back. If that's the case, but you don't definitely lose resources like that. Let's get our relic back. Oh. Back on water. But he's making. Um, he has his own Fitoria. Cheater. Copycat. But the thing is, I can. He's making fire ships. I can control fire ships from water. <laughs> that is enough Portuguese war for a lifetime. <laughs> All right then. Uh, I guess <laughs> I didn't make the champion. No, I didn't make the champion. <laughs> right, so he made five Fatoria. That's why his population also ended up being low. But he has way too many. He doesn't need this amount of farmers, right? He's way too many farmers for this, and probably way too many villagers still. But I mean, this strategy is kind of cool. Um, obviously, like I said, the best. Reaction to this is probably just make a ton of your own bomber cannons and use your economy advantage. Look at my food, I have 8,000. Of course I didn't spend much, but the Fatoras seem to generate a fairly good amount of food. What is work on islands? I'm starting to think Fatora can be really useful for islands, yes. Yeah, actually, Portuguese for team islands now or something like that could be really good actually, actually. Especially as the game drags on. Ah, that's actually a really difficult one. Portuguese might be super dangerous now on like Imperial Age uh, water water fights, especially one one. I enjoyed this though. That was a uh, that was good. Uh, a little bit cancer, but <laughs> I feel like if any one of you know StarCraft, StarCraft Two, the way Swarm Host used to be before. Uh, so if you know Swarm Host and StarCraft Two and how it was a couple of years back, I feel like this was. Like Swarm Host, just super cancer, slowly gaining more and more grand, and from that point on. Yeah. Enjoyed it though. Uh, Fitoria, what's our verdict on Fitoria? We actually collected over 9,000 stone in the end because of the Fitoria, so that's not too bad. I think food, they gave a decent amount. Wood, not great. Stone, bad. Gold, bad. So. Probably you're still better off with 20 villagers than Fitoria. 
But there will for sure be... Look at this! <laughs> but there will for sure be opportunities and situations in games where Fittori actually makes sense. Uh, Shafiq, no, they generate 1.6 food and one wood per second. So uh, it's not better than... Uh, uh, food is better than wood. 